Hi everyone, Nicholas Buffett is again from the Junior Senior School and yes, it's still very sunny in Cyprus. Today's tutorial is all about Microsoft Forms. The main concept is about trying to get our whole clutter of forms, which probably looks like this mess over here, looking like this nice tidy little pile on this side. Now, this is with the new feature called Collections from Microsoft. However, in this tutorial, we're going to learn a little bit more. We're going to get a more in-depth understanding of where forms are actually stored, how to find them, and especially when it comes to forms generated when we create an assignment in a class team, where they're stored and how we can manage them. So, let's get started. Okay, I'm here in my 365 account and I've already clicked on Forms and we can see the, the basic interface that we probably all see when we open up forms. So from here, let's just analyze the interface. We've got our recent, and here we can see the most recent forms that you have opened. This actually confused me a little bit. I thought these were all my forms and I was looking for my forms. But we're gonna come back to that in, in a couple of seconds. Next to recent, we've got pinned. So if you want to pin a form uh, so for quick access, uh, it will appear here. But this one's quite useful, shared with me, this actually shows you all the forms that people have shared with you. So if you're looking for something someone's shared with you, that's the place to go. Let's go back to recent. Now, down here at the bottom, we've got our groups. These are all the teams that we have, or the teams that we're members of. And if you see here, here are all my teams. And if I click on any of these, you will see the forms which are associated with these teams groups. I'm going to get back to that just a little bit later on. The most important link on this page i think is is hidden away it's hidden away right down here this little all my forms here this microsoft this should be at the top big button at the top make it easy for us to find so when you click on this you actually see all of the forms which you have in this one page now my one doesn't look so cluttered because i've already created lots of collections these are called collections i call them they're like subfolders in a directory and you can put different files inside that subfolder. In this case, a new collection, you can put your forms inside those collections and organize them. So if we have a look here, we've got, um, I've got a collection called MCE slash MIE. Here I've got six items or six forms. And these are all to do with forms I use to train uh, educators at the junior senior school about becoming a Microsoft Innovative Educator Expert or passing the, the MCE exam. So if I go back, I can see all the other collections I have. So how do we create a collection? Well, essentially, it's very easy. You've got this big button here that says New Collection, and when you click on that, you can just create a collection. My collection. Give it the appropriate name, obviously, for the types of forms you're going to keep inside there. Click on Create, and there you go. I've got a new collection. Now, if I want to add forms into this collection, here I can see the different forms which haven't been added to a collection. I can see because they don't have this title at the top like the collections do. So if I want to add this one, uh, put these two in here, I'm going to click on the ellipses on the form and say move to a collection. And I just choose the collection I want to move it to. Okay, so let's go have a look at the My Collection. If I click on this, I can see the two forms which I've already added inside. Super easy, gets things organized really quickly. Okay, let's say I want to move one of these out. All I have to do is click on the ellipses and I've got a couple of options. I can either move it to a different collection, which I've already made, or I could just remove it from a collection. We're going to look at move it to a group in a short while. Or I can delete it. So I'm just going to remove from collection. So that's the untitled quiz I'm going to remove from the collection. Going back to my forms and we can see that the untitled quiz, where is it? Here it is, here, has now moved back to the main area. Now, if you delete a collection, be very careful. So to delete the collection, you will click here and you will go to delete. But when you do, you get a warning and it says essentially all the forms inside that collection will be deleted. Now, if you do this accidentally, have no fear because you can always find your deleted forms inside the recycle bin. So in the recycle bin here, you can go and find all those deleted forms. So let's go back. So if you do want to delete a collection, the ideal thing to do is to essentially open the collection, move these either to a different collection or just remove them from the collection like this. Now that collection is empty. I can click on the ellipses and delete it. 
Now, if I want to create a new form, I can either create a new form or a quiz from here, and that will actually generate the new form or quiz in the main directory, and then I would have to move it into the collection. However, you can very easily just add, so if I go to this one here, which is all the ones I have on Hack My Passwords uh, competitions, which I create, if I want to create a new one, I can simply create the new quiz or a form directly from here. So if I do that here, let's do it, I'm going to do new form. Details, and I'm just going to add a simple text field there. Enter name, and that's it. So now when I close this, I'll go back to my forms. And now I'm going to go to all my forms. Go to here, my collections. Inside this HMP challenges and have my passwords, I've got this new one, which I just made. Details. Okay. So you can actually create forms directly in those collections. Okay. So we're going to look at groups now and just to get a good understanding of what groups are. So if I go to all forms, if I go back to my forms here, we saw at the beginning that we've got these groups here. And these are all our teams groups. Okay. Now it could be a class team. It could be a staff team. Any team that you have, you can actually associate forms to that team. Now, what's the advantage of this? We're going to see it now. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to open up an assignment. I'm going to create a new assignment using my practice or my training team, which I've got here, teach, teach and training. So let's open that up. Okay, so this is my Microsoft Teams, and you can see I'm already in the general section of this training team here, and I've gone to assignments. I'm going to create a new uh, assignment. So I'm going to go to create assignment from, not from existing, I'm going to create a new quiz. Now, keep in mind, from assignments, you can only create a quiz. You cannot create a form, mainly because assignments are there for us to assess students. So you need something that's actually going to give you some kind of value of their assessment and therefore you would use a quiz because quizzes you can put grades. So if I go to quiz and I've got a list of all the all the quizzes which I've already made in the past, I'm just going to create a new quiz. And I'm going to call this, I don't know, let's say um, device hardware quiz. Okay. Now, I've made this quiz. I'm just going to click on done. And that's already created my assignment. I'm, you can, I'm not going to go into assignments. You can modify the, the, the due date and whether you're allowing late submissions or not. I'm just going to assign this now. Okay, so essentially students will go and get this quiz. They will click on it and they will submit it. But what does this mean as far as forms is concerned? Well, let's have a look. So in forms now, here is my forms. I'm back into my 365. Here's my forms. So if I go to the teacher training team here now, we can see now we've got the device hardware quiz. So you can see that quiz is actually stored inside the groups. And in which group? Your Microsoft Teams group. Now, what's the advantage of knowing where these are stored? Well, students will find the, the form very easily from the assignment, or the quiz, should I say. However, let's say you want to give them a questionnaire. Let's say you want to ask them some questions which are not going to be marked or graded. We would normally create the form, share a link, and post that link in Microsoft Teams. But if you want to refer to that again and again and again, one process will be to put that form as a tab on the top of Microsoft Teams. Or what you could do if you've got a number of forms, questionnaires that you're going to give to that team, you can, instead of doing all of that and having students hunt for those uh, links in the posts or keep looking at the tabs at the top, you can tell them that they can find, if they go to their Microsoft Forms and go to the group section, our team group, they will find all the forms in there, like this. So for example, let's say I wanted to create also a questionnaire for them, and we're going to see the student side as well. So I'm going to go back to my forms. I'm going to create a new form, and I'm going to call this Rate the Lesson. Rate Lesson on hardware and I'm going to add a quick rating scale rate from one to five and that's it so this isn't a quiz this is all automatically saved 
And if I close that now and go back to my forms, I should be able to find in all my forms the rate there is great lesson on hardware. So now I'm going to move this into a group, not into a collection. From here, we can see all the groups. These are all the teams. I'm going to choose the teacher training team here, and I'm going to say move. Okay, so that should have moved now. So if I now go back to my forms, go to the groups, I should be able to see, there you go, rate lesson on hardware. So what does the student see? Well, let's go have a look. So this is a student interface here. I've opened up forms. Let me just click on forms again. And this is the interface that the student sees. So here you've got the different types of forms that a student has opened up recently. Same interface as what you would see as an educator. And the All My Forms button there, of course. But here they've got also the teams that they're members of or the groups. So we're going to open this teacher training one here. And we're going to have a look. Let's just do a quick refresh. And you can see that the student now can find the rate lesson on hardware form, which normally they wouldn't be able to have in that group unless we assign it to that group. OK, so you can send forms to your students and they will be able to find them easily by just going to the group. They also have the quizzes which you set as an assignment. So although the quizzes is not that important because they can always get the quizzes from the assignment directly from Teams, but if they do want to go and find a quiz, then they can do that from there as well. OK, so let's wrap it up. We've learned today how we can make this mess into this tidy little pile over here with the new collection feature in uh, Microsoft Forms. But we've also learned a little bit about using groups so that we can set either forms for our classes and they can find them easily. So it's a way of you as a teacher managing or organizing the forms for your students because you're putting everything inside their group. Um, any quizzes that you create as assignments are automatically set in the Teams group. But at the same time, you can use the collection feature to organize everything. You can move things from one collection to another collection. You can delete collections. But remember, when you delete a collection, it deletes all the forms inside. And you've always got that back up by going to the recycle bin. So if you've learned something new, you've liked this video, make sure you click like, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.